Close Devil center Travis Zions, who underwent surgery to repair a torn left pectoral muscle on August 17, has been medically cleared to play and rejoined his teammates for Saturday's morning skate. Andrew Gross North Jersey.com Newark, it's not going to take Travis Zions four to six months to return to the Devils lineup, as was the prognosis when he underwent surgery to repair a torn left pectoral muscle on August. 17. Zions, who has been medically cleared to play and participated in the team's morning skate on Saturday before the Devils hosted the Panthers at Prudential Center, could return to the lineup within the week. I think we've had an internal timeline and we're pretty much on schedule, said Zions, 32, the team's number one center. I will take it a day at a time. I've been skating for a while, just not with the guys. It's more just now getting some practices where I can skate through some bodies and bump a little bit. I missed all of training camp so the next week is going to be important for me. Zions want to accompany the Devils to Chicago for Sunday's game against the Blackhawks face off 7 p.m. Television MSG plus Radio Digital One Jersey Network but will join the team for the rest of the four-game road trip. That includes Saturday's game at Winnipeg, Zayek's hometown. In no coincidence there, Zion said. No, I don't know whether that's a target or not. We'll see how the next couple of practices go. Michael McLeod, 19, the 12th overall pick in 2016 who underwent arthroscopic surgery on his left knee on October 12th, has also been cleared to play but coach John Hines said it has yet to be determined whether McLeod would remain with the Devils or be returned to his junior club, Mississauga of the Ontario Hockey League. Honored World War II veteran John Beatrice, 96, of Elmwood Park, was recognized as the hero of the game on Military Appreciation Night and met with some Devils players prior to face-off. You look back and there's not too many men or women left who served in that war, said Devils right-wing Kyle Palmieri of Montvale, who runs Squad 21 to provide tickets for service members throughout the season. Obviously, the shape and mold of this planet, World War II was a pretty big part. To be able to meet somebody who went through that, it's an honor for all of us. Briefs forward Pavel Zaka and defenseman Ben Lovejoy and Dalton Proud remained the healthy scratches. Left wing Marcus Johansson missed his fifth game and still has not skated since suffering a concussion on November 1st at Vancouver but Hines said there has been slow progression. He's definitely taken a step in the last few days just as far as being able to exercise, Hines said. So it looks like he's trending in the right direction. Email grossa at northjersey.com.